today I'll be covering the top 3 long term investments in your photo and video company. I'm Ryan and on this channel I cover photography and cinematography, tutorials, tips and tricks. So the first good investment is a high quality microphone. This will last you your entire filmmaking career because microphones don't really change that much and a good microphone will not fail 6 months after you buy it. Good audio is the most important aspect to any video because if the audio is bad people will not watch your video. However if the video quality is bad people will probably still watch your video if you have good content. Here are my experiences with cheap microphones. So first is this microphone that I'm using right now, the Ceramonic V-Mic Mini. It's under Australian dollars. It works and has great sound, but it is extremely affected by electronic interference such as phones nearby. It also has a bad shock mount and the windshield comes off easily. The microphone before this I had was the Boya BYM1. I still have four of them in case I want to have up to four people in a scene and have them all on the same microphone. But because they're so cheap, the sound is good, but the clips on them break easily. So be careful if you own them. Another microphone I've had experience with is the Behringer Ultra Voice XM8500. Once you get a good audio interface, it sounds pretty good, but even though it's designed for handheld use, the shock mount inside it is terrible and you'll pick up a ton of handling noise. And the final microphone I've used is the newer NW700. Even with the shock mount installed, banging your desk while it's on a boom arm will create a lot of handling noise in the mic because the shock mount included just isn't any good. It does sound okay once you get a good interface though. A good quality microphone will have none of the issues mentioned above and because of that it will last you a long time. The second investment I recommend you make are nice lenses. They don't have to be expensive but lenses with a fast aperture will greatly increase the quality of your photos and videos. Nice lenses can last up to 30 years or maybe even longer. This is because while camera bodies have to get upgraded every couple of years, the lens mounts on them don't really change that much. So you'll find that old lenses are still quite expensive even though they're 10 years old or even older. If you want some nice looking photos or videos, try vintage lenses. They're not the most technically good lenses so they're not the sharpest, but they have some nice characteristics that make your photos and videos look nice. Lenses also have a high resale value, that way you can sell them for almost what you bought them for even if you buy them brand new. A tip for getting nice lenses cheaper, buy them used with scratches. Once a lens is scratched, its resale value plummets, even though the image is not affected at all. I have an upcoming video proving that scratched lenses don't actually affect the image. The third investment I recommend you make is a smartwatch. This is because investing in yourself is just as important as investing in gear. If you're a freelancer, then there's no sick leave available to you, so a smartwatch will help you not get sick. To avoid getting sick, you have to sleep properly and stay active. A smartwatch will help you do this because it will give you hourly reminders to move and it will track how you sleep and then give you graphs over time of your activity and sleep. This will allow you to improve these aspects of your life over time. Another key way to avoid getting sick is to not get stressed. Most smartwatches include breathing exercises which will help you relieve stress. Often they also have activity programs which will help you get your fitness level up if you're currently unfit. I have the Galaxy Watch Active from early 2018. I got it at launch and it's still going strong even though it's quite scratched at this point. It still has the current software that the Galaxy Watch 3 has even though it probably won't get any more software updates. I'll probably sell this and get the Galaxy Watch 4 when it comes out because I want the rotating bezel and the other premium features the higher end models offer. My best recommendation is to buy a smartwatch from the company that made your phone. This is because that way you'll get the best integration possible. Click the video on screen to learn about which video editor you should use, but first click here to subscribe.